What's up guys? Today's video is for all the competitors out there. We are talking about the biggest mistake you can make in a fight. Ooh, what is it? Tell me now. Intro first and then we'll get to all the info. All right guys, I truly believe you will be hard pressed to find many fighters who can say they have not made this mistake before. It's been the whole cause, the whole thing that led to that loss. And I don't want anybody on my channel making this mistake, especially since I know the mistake and I can just tell you exactly what not to do. And I can give it to you in two words. It'll be two words and then we'll go more in depth. But we are talking about over confidence. Now I'm not talking about overconfidence like you know in the past you heard the story about Mike Tyson having a fight with somebody uh, I think it was when he lost to Buster Douglas possibly I might not have that 100% right but you know the night before he's doing what he shouldn't be doing he's up too late and the next day you go out to perform and it just does not click for you something's off and all of a sudden you end up losing. Not talking about that I mean that's an element of it of course and we don't want to make that mistake but for myself I've never gone into a training camp I've never slacked off in that sense the night before, I've never been like, oh, you know what? It's just an easy fight tomorrow. I'm not gonna worry about getting a lot of sleep. Throughout training camp, I've never gone, ah, oh, you know what? This guy's a bum. I'm just gonna slack off on my diet and not worry about that. The training, the sleep, the food is always being a priority. I always push super hard. But still, people can make mistakes with overconfidence and let it affect those three things we just talked about. But what I'm talking about is stepping in the ring thinking it's going to be an easy night. It's going to be easy work. You're going to go in there, you're going to not have any trouble, you'll pick the guy apart and then you'll leave. I've had numerous training buddies who have gone into fights thinking, oh, you know what? I put in a hard camp and I've done the same before. I put in a really hard camp, I'm feeling good and this guy is just not at my skill level and I'm just going to go in and it won't be hard. Biggest mistake you can make. You're much better off getting in the ring thinking it's going to be the battle of your life and then having it be an easy fight than the opposite where you get in thinking it's going to be an easy fight and then all of a sudden it's harder and just mentally you are not prepared for it. Talked about visualization, I've talked about the mentality of fighting before and it is so paramount to getting wins and getting those belts I have behind me. One misstep, one moment where you go, you know what, this opponent's not on my level, I'll go in there, I'll sweep up the floor with them and then I'll leave, no big deal. Done it once one time before and it just came and bit me and I just lost by split decision. It wasn't like I got blown out of the water. It was even a very controversial loss, but still a fight I should have just easily won. But I went in with that mindset throughout training camp that I was gonna go in, I was gonna pick the guy apart, it would be an easy fight, and guess what? All of a sudden he comes up with more than I was expecting and I'm going, oh shoot, I wasn't ready for this, I didn't prepare mentally for this. And that's the big key. If you aren't mentally prepared, then all of a sudden everything just starts crumbling the mentality that you hold is sort of the, the mortar that's going to hold all the bricks up. Without it, everything just piece by piece goes downhill. So now, and this is something my dad's told me ever since I had this loss, he said, go into every fight expecting it's going to be your hardest. When you do that, there is no time where you're going to be in the ring with somebody going, oh shoot, this guy's better than I thought. I was not ready for this. If you are 100% expecting the hardest fight of your life, all that happens is it is the hardest fight of your life and you were prepared, or it's easier. Easier is so much better. But when we make mistakes thinking it's gonna to be too easy, it happens to the best in the world, happens to high level amateurs, and it definitely happens to entry level amateurs. I've seen so many guys who think, oh, I'm gonna go into my fight. They pre-plan their combos. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna move around for 30 seconds, I'm gonna throw a jab, cross, hook, and then I'm gonna do a spinning hook kick and I'm gonna knock him out. And they think in their mind that that's gonna be the reality, that it's really gonna happen. And then they go in and they do it, and the guy backs up and he's not there or the guy throws a counter punch and, he, and you get clipped. Leave your mind open to many possibilities, but do not be overconfident. Do not think your opponent will have less than he's capable of. Give them all the respect in the world. Respect is gonna equal you training hard, you taking your diet seriously, you getting in those hours in the bed, sleeping. Once you've done all that, physically you're gonna be dialed in and then mentally, which is even more important in my opinion, you're gonna be ready for a battle. So guys, super basic episode today, but so important. Overconfidence has led to me experiencing a loss, has led to numerous other people experiencing losses at the highest level and at the entry level. Never make that mistake, even if you think, oh, you know what, when I'm 
very confident. When I'm overconfident, I'm not scared and it just feels better the whole camp. You're better off being scared during training camp throughout your whole training preparation and winning fight night than going through fight camp going, oh yeah, you know, it's just going to be chill. I'm going to go in. I'm going to win. You feel great the whole camp and then you go in and you're in for a surprise. I'd rather get the win. I'd always rather get the win even if it means that I'm more miserable for that two months leading up to the fight. Has anybody out there already made this mistake and know about it or is this brand new for everybody? Let me know in the comments below. Give the video a like if you found it helpful, you think it's going to help somebody else out there. Share, of course, if you know anybody who might benefit from this information. And guys, join the channel and get subscribed. Until next time, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.